This is Miami All Access. How did it feel to get into conference play and uh, play, you know, one of the potentially one of the better teams in the East, uh, like diving into the pool? Yeah, I mean, I try to make an emphasis to all the guys because since we have so many new faces that, you know, after I've been here for four years, you really start to notice that conference play is just a whole different different animal. So you know every game, if both both teams are going to bring it, they're so well scouted that, you know, you're going to have, you know, one, two possession games with four minutes to left, four, with four minutes left almost every time. So, I mean, it's, it's just plays down the stretch that we need to make. We came out to a bad start, kind of dug ourselves a hole, fought back. I was proud of our guys how hard we fought back. But, I mean, at this point in the season, we can't have moral victories. We're going to build off of it and learn from it tomorrow. But, you know, by the end of the day, you just got to get wins. What's your part in it at, at halftime to get these the younger guys, the transfer guys, to get them to know how to play MAC basketball and, and how tough it's going to be? What what role do you take on? Uh, I take a pretty big role about it. Just I mean, most guys would tell you I pretty much have the voice in terms of leadership. So I need to uh, I try to make an emphasis at halftime about you know I mean we dug ourselves a big hole, but like we showed um, when you play our style of basketball. I mean, there's no hole that's really too big to dig ourselves out of. So, I mean, we just we fought back. And, I mean, I try to talk to the younger guys as much as I can, but I think they're going to have to learn through the fire. And today was a good example about it. Buffalo is a tremendous team, probably one of the best in the league. And, I mean, another thing we can take from them is that we battled with them. So, I mean, we can beat anybody, and you can lose to anybody. That's just how the Mac is. How tough is it uh, getting down, I think, something like 14-2 and trying to climb out of that hole right away? Yeah, I mean it's it's tough when you're when you kind of dig yourself a hole that early, but I mean after you've played so much basketball in your life, you've you've been in those situations before. I mean it's exhausting when you get there. You're kind of like, man, I thought we were ready to play, but then at the same time, you know, next time you come out, you just need to always be ready to play because teams are always going to come out. And everybody's capable of making shots, and if they don't feel you, the shots are going to come in early, and then they got comfortable, and then. You know, it just kind of snowballs. So we need to come out with the right defensive mindset uh, next time out and not let teams jump on us so quick. You guys were down 10-0 in the paint early, and you, and you battled back. You won it 36-18 the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Was that kind of an emphasis for you guys to battle down in there hard and take on their bigger guys? Well, yeah, Moss is an animal, so we just kind of <laughs> had a we had a game plan going into them. And, you know, our big guys battled. We sent them to the foul line a little too much. We got in a lot of foul trouble. But... You know, again, it's a good learning experience for these guys who haven't been around players like that. So, I mean, we can build off of it. And, uh, but yeah, it was definitely a point of emphasis coming into the game. And as the game progressed, we did a much better job with it. Is this game important in terms of just showing everybody else that if, if we do play a complete game, we can beat anybody in the MAC? Absolutely. But, I mean, I'll really know how much everybody learned when we get to practice tomorrow. And we kind of see how people respond to it. I mean, there's the core guys are all going to respond well, but a lot of these new faces that we have, I'm really interested to see how they respond. And uh, that'll tell you how much they've learned through tonight. Look like you had your stroke going pretty well, especially for three tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shots been feeling pretty good. Just it's nice when you get that first one to fall down, and you just kind of you kind of get into the flow of the game. Wasn't thinking about it too much, and luckily I was able to keep it going. When you talk to the guys about this or that, uh, do you ever touch on the subject of the free throws? I mean, that was a yeah, I mean, rough situation a, tonight. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's a tough thing to bring up because we're typically, I mean, in the last handful of game, we've been pretty good shooting free throws, Giovanni especially. So it was just one of those nights where he was just in his own head. But he's a hard worker. He'll be in the gym tomorrow for a couple, like an hour or two, just shooting free throws. So I'm not worried about that. We'll get it back and. You know, people just need to take it upon themselves to work on that part of their game if they're struggling. How tough was it? It seemed to maybe especially a little bit more in the beginning, like it was uh, uh, their defense was really turned up a notch or, or so it looked like it was tough to get some quality shots. How, how tough is their defense? Their defense was tough, but at the same time, we made them look probably better than it was. We were pretty stagnant at the start of the game. We didn't really get the ball reversed from side to side, so we were really easy to guard. So we made them look pretty good. We were taking quick shots. They were able to get rebounds because they were so big, and then they got in transition. So I mean, they do have a good. They have so much size that their defense is good. They have good guard play as well. But at the same time, a lot of it is in our own hands. We need to get the ball moving and be much more effective offensively. They graduated 
obviously a lot of talent, mm -hmm. but they've still got enough around to uh, uh, to carry them uh, pretty well. This year. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I was we're, I was talking to some of the other guys who have been around. They graduated McCray, and you'd think, oh, they must be down this year in the post. But at the same time, you got a guy like Moss who steps right in and fills the void perfectly. So I mean, it's not something you can make an excuse about. You just got to know coming in when you're playing Buffalo, and I think we play them in another week and a half or so. You just got to know what you're getting yourselves into and bring the physicality to them. Is your head okay? You took a nasty spill. You okay? Yeah, I got scared for a second when it happened, but as the, after a minute passed or so, I was fine. I feel good now. Well, I think in many ways it was pretty obvious. It was a game of um, two completely um, different halves. You know, I thought they. They came out and they got on a roll, and they were more aggressive um, than we were. And you know, they start the game uh, first couple. I think it's the first couple of buckets. Moss is able to get it and score uh, pretty easily, and then we struggled from there. And then, of course, um, we struggled making free throws. And we start off one of seven. You can't do that. Uh, doesn't allow you to even be able to get to any of your pressure or be aggressive. Um, and so we really struggled in many ways. And they start hitting shots, and so. Uh, they had a lot of positive things going, and I thought we just had um, too many inopportune turnovers um, in that first half, trying to do too much, trying to force the issue. And maybe it's because we didn't have a great rhythm. Maybe it's because we were down. But we continued to put ourselves um, in a hole. And then in the second half, uh, it was evident that we were um, more aggressive and, and we were in attack mode much more. Um, we were able to turn them over some uh, with our pressure. I think we cut it to two or three. I can't remember if it was two or three. Um, both. Okay, so we, we cut it down there um, a couple of times and uh, never actually made the play um, to get over the hump. But, you know, you put yourself down 16 points in the first half. I believe it was 16. That's an, an unbelievable hill to climb, and, and a lot of energy is used. Uh, but. You know, um, I told our guys credit to them. They did come out and they did compete in the second half and put themselves in a position um, to be relevant um, in the game. Um, but, you know, we, we cut it there. Uh, I think Sully ends up with a three with an opportunity to tie it, if that's correct, if I remember um, from, from the corner uh, right there. But, you know, we did some good things. But, you know, at the end of the day, the free throw line really, really affected us. It, it came back and and bit us in the tail, um, you know, and, and they're a big physical team with many, many options. They, they have some very good players. They're good. Um, and, you know, you look at Moss, who basically had a double-double in the first half. When you have him, you're able to settle the game because when all else fails or things are going wrong, uh, you can throw the ball into him. And the thing about him is once he gets his hands on it, he does not lose it. You know, I think he finished with 23 and 12, if I remember. Um, but he had like 12 and 9 at, at half. Um, we, we were able to um, obviously turn them over and, and get into some uh, transition opportunities. Um, and when we still came up short a couple of times, I thought there were um, a couple of times during that time when we get opportunities, we're driving through the basket throughout the game and we're playing away from contact instead of playing through contact. You know, it's almost like we're avoiding it and you dipsy do a little bit when you've got to play through it. But, um, you know, credit to them come in and open up season conference play on the road with a win, um, a good team. And um, I thought Xavier Ford was terrific for them. I mean, he was terrific for them, made, you know, some really good plays. And then, of course, Reagan steps up and hits two critical threes. One he makes is a four point play and the other one he knocks in, which gets him the confidence and the next one he takes. and. And he makes it and knows we're at tough times of the game. There was one point where uh, you made a run on him, and uh, uh, Moss just got that look on his face like he was going to take over, and then pretty much, you know, ran off. Uh, what did you say, Mark? 15, uh, 12, 15 points for them? Um, yeah, 13. Well, I mean, one, he, he, here's what I'll say about the young man, and, and I don't know him, but. It tells me a lot about who he is to be doing what he's doing. Because he didn't play a lot of minutes last year. And he could have sulked. He could have had a pity party. And he could have came back and not been ready to play. But boy, oh boy, has he taken advantage of his opportunity. And consequently, because he worked, 
at some point. I'm, I'm not in their practices, obviously. You know, good things are happening to him. And he is a tough cover. You know, he's, he's never really ever out of control. You know, at times, you know, he may be a little bit, but, you know, he has the ability to hit jump shots. More importantly, he makes his free throws. So he puts you in a tough situation because he's going to make free throws, and because of his big body, he draws contact and he gets fouled. And we just never could um, quite handle him. What did you tell the guys at halftime? To just it looked like in the first half, maybe Justin Moss had that quick start and jumped out. They got they were up 10-0 in the paint off the bat, and it looked like maybe Eric was pushing a little bit in the first half, trying to make something happen. Second mm -hmm. half, he looked much more relaxed. Well, I thought he was trying to do too much because we got down, and it was and it was really compounding. You know, there were some times there where he broke the initial phase of the defense, and they did a good job of getting back. And there were times you got to pull it and. You know, a couple of times he's trying to dribble through traffic and, you know, spin dribbling. So he was just out of control and sort of out of sorts. Um, you know, I talked to the team at halftime, and one of the things I talked to them about is, you know, you have to understand the game of basketball has to hurt. It, not because you lose, but it has to hurt. You have to, you have to hurt physically because winning plays typically are physical plays. Sully takes a charge, hits his head on the court, You've, and hard. You got to dive on the floor. You you may have to give your body to a six eight, two hundred and fifty pound guy running you over, and it's not going to feel good. But what what makes the hurt feel better is that you win. That's what makes it a good hurt, and so that's one of the things I talked to the team about at halftime was challenging them. You know, and understand you got to hurt, you know, in order to feel good. And and I didn't think in the first half that we wanted to hurt. And against that team, they're physical. You've got to bring your hard hat and be ready to go. It looked like in the second half they responded well to that. They played really tough basketball. Everybody was willing to lay out on the floor, right. do the extra effort to get to play. Is it tough right now? Obviously, you guys almost completed the comeback. How do you how do you get the do the young guys get their head over this and get them on to the next day? Well, I mean, you're in league play, and one of the things this is what you start learning when you get here in college and you're a young kid is that you've got to be able to learn from this, get past it, and get prepared because Eastern Michigan is going to bring in a different kind of pain. They're going to be big, they're going to be long, they're going to be physical, and you have to deal with the zone and they eat glass, and so it's a whole different um, kind of team and a different mentality, and so. Uh, we've we've got to learn from it and get past it. Um, but, you know, more importantly, we'll watch film tomorrow. We've got to see the plays that we left out there on the court when we weren't willing to hurt. And when you start seeing them on tape and, you know, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, you start realizing that the game of basketball is going to come down to two or three possessions. Most games in conference play are going to come down to two or three possessions. And that's just what it's going to be. How important was LJ tonight? He had a lot of really aware plays, uh, putbacks and stuff like that, and, and that looked good. He had some big efforts for you tonight, and then he had one one play, I believe he passed it out and got an extra pass to either Sullivan or Moore for a three-pointer, and that was when you guys were trying to come back there. Well, I thought, you know, I thought early he struggled um, during the game. Um, they ran a couple sets, which we had covered, and he wasn't in the right spot, and consequently Moss catches and scores easy. And that's what I talk about. you got to understand the physical nature of the game and what it's going to take. Um, I do think he got better, um, really nice offensive rebound, a couple different possessions there that, that really helped us. And you know, I think you know, more so for LJ, it's understanding that the level and the intensity level you have to be, with, be at excuse me, to start the game and throughout the course of the game is so incredibly high that you can't take moments where you're not at that that level, um, at this level of basketball. Um, you know, ran a couple good actions and we had a dump down to him. He had a layup. He got fouled and, and it got blocked. But one of the things I told him, that's not a that's not a layup. Not with your legs. You know, your mentality has to be to catch it and I'm going to rip the rim off. And and so that goes to, you know, trying to get him to continue to understand the aggressive mentality that you have to play the game with because he's capable of it. Now the question becomes is can he be consistent 
with his effort because he has to be in order to be a good player. You have to be consistent with that effort. And so, you know, that's that's the growth area and the growth department for him is finding that consistency.